Hi everyone, well, I'm in Auckland and we've just been put into a level 3 lockdown, so yay! Hey, so last lockdown I got so much done. I got completely shredded as you can see, I learned to play the tuba, and I baked so much bread I made a bed out of sourdough loaves. I call it my Sealy Yeast Eupedic. But this time around, I had no methods left to self-improve. Then I remembered Hero of the Nation, Mike Hosking. For the last 80 years, News Talk ZB has been putting out these little film nuggets called Mike's Minute. They're video companion pieces to his morning radio show where he concisely discharges his thoughts about a single pressing issue. So I'm going to watch the last three months of Mike's Minutes, and at the end of it we'll see if I want to walk into the sea or not. A lot of what we hear by way of predictions is hope as opposed to knowledge, and I think for all we think we know, there is a hell of a lot that we don't. Holy shit, that was basically Socrates. When the water's back, which it will be, what are you going to do with your water tank then? Oh, uh, um, I, nothing. Uh, Why did you buy a boat? Oh, I just like it when it goes... Are you selling your boat? Uh, no. Yes. No. 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 Uh, yes. No. You're losing money on your boat? <laughs> I don't know, Mike. I don't know. Hey, Ashley, these papers don't tell me if testing's fully rolled out. Is it fully rolled out, Ashley? <sighs> How long does the government welfare tap continue to flow? <sighs> Like a week ago when the preliminary results arrived, gnashing of teeth, op-eds galore, moaning, whining, whinging, but, but, but. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's those eyes. It's those eyes boring into my brainstem. Oh, honestly, we're like five videos in and I feel like I've spent the last six hours walking around in a Westfield mall with no windows. You just gotta keep on living though, right? You gotta keep going. You got the Sallies, Action Against Poverty, Child Poverty Action, those two are separate groups by the way, but both clearly want action. And I've just realised that Mike's minute isn't actually a minute, it's more like around about two and a half minutes. So what I thought was going to take me 15 minutes is in fact going to take me two and a half hours. So, that's great. Now Grant Robertson was on the radio uh, with us yesterday telling us things were going better than expected, which to a degree is smoke and mirrors. I mean, what we expected was a guess, nothing more. We thought the whole house would burn down. Turns out it's only two bedrooms, the front room and the kitchen, so <laughs> fuel. Is he, is he living in the toilet? Mike, are you living in the toilet? You can't live in the toilet, Mike. Although... Total game changer. Now, having predicted his loss, let me make another prediction for you. He won't be back. Slam dunk of a wreck in there, but I don't know if I can take it seriously. A lot of what we hear by way of predictions is hope as opposed to knowledge, and I think for all we think we know, there is a hell of a lot that we don't. Aren't you pleased the Greens aren't in government anymore? Why is he dressed like Patrick McGowan and the prisoner? High drama and tension at the banks. Why is he dressed like Roger Moore and the man with the golden gun? Most of them, of course, are dickheads. Who are Why is he dressed like Jack Skeleton? A major frustration, you know, this year has not been our COVID approach, but the fact we seem basically to have given up. Sorry, Mike. The welfare bill continues to grow to support those who cannot contribute, and let's be blunt, most likely never will. Uh, no, actually, sorry, I have to stop you there. I have been contributing. I've been making these T-shirts using macaroni tubes. Let's say, thank God it's Friday. Why would you want that for yourself? Sorry. If you ever had any doubt that this government is hopelessly out of its depth economically, Grant's letter to Adrian is it. Dear Adrian. Who's that? Have you seen the price of a house? My God, it's through the roof. What? He looks a bit like that guy who played Euron Greyjoy in Game of Thrones. And I think he was in Borgen. I think his name is like Pilu, 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 Pilu,
We've hooked into that, of course, the COVAX plan will stand dutifully in line while they roll out their highly political Poor Countries First program. How dare the government sign us up to a program that seeks to correct global vaccine inequity caused by rich countries hoarding all the vaccine? <laughs> Disgusting. But if Trump is to blame for everything and Fox therefore is to blame too, and Facebook and Twitter ban the ones they don't like, and certain sections of the media acquiesce to that and embrace it, where do we hear the voices as opposed to the voice? If you want to listen to Trump, there's heaps of places to scratch that hump. There's Fox, CNN, BBC, Newsmax, One America Network. He ain't been deplatformed. Uh, eat lots of free-range pork. Extensive work has been done around the coverage of the euthanasia and cannabis referenda. Euthanasia wasn't so bad. As for the cannabis coverage, basically it turned out to be embarrassing. Oh, Christ, I could do with a bucky. Are you kidding me? Uh, you will do what? No one else has because you know why? They can't. This is the year of delivery all over again 2.0. Be fair to Brash, he is consistent in his message and I am pleased there are people like him who are prepared in this woke old day and age full of angst. Rupert Murdoch was right last week when he talked of the dangers of this current society and our seeming inability anymore to be allowed to express a view without the Group Think Brigade launching a campaign to counsel. Oh, 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 I've passed the test. I shall diminish and go into the West and remain Jose of the Avondale Flats. So we've got a breach situation here. We've uh, got a Jack Russell and a Cody Shepard cross. Definitely not observing the two meter distancing rules. Uh, more a nose to undertail uh, situation, if you get me. Yeah, yeah, no, no. They're definitely not good dogs. <laughs>